Currently, Chandrayaan-3, we'll call it CY-3 from now on, is 25 kilometers above the lunar surface at its closest point. Let us look into what ISRO has planned for the lander. First, there are two dimensions we need to be concerned about, along the surface called horizontal and towards the surface called vertical. Landing protocol will be triggered when the module is 750 kilometers from the site, horizontally. It will have a horizontal speed of 1.6 kilometers per second or 1 mile per second. To land, we have to reduce this speed to zero. It will be achieved in two stages, rough braking and fine braking phases. First stage is supposed to last for 690 seconds, reducing the speed to 358 meters per second. Nozzles of the lander, that was horizontal before braking, will be tilted towards the surface. It will also gain a vertical speed of 61 meters per second towards the surface. This was the step where CY2 failed. A detailed video on this has been linked in the description below. During this 690 second window, cameras and sensors will be calibrated as well. A 10 second altitude holding phase will bridge rough and fine braking stages. All the errors in the calibrations will be patched using artificial intelligence within 10 seconds. In CY2, this was 38 second long. Fine braking phase will reduce the horizontal speed that is the speed along the surface to zero in next 175 seconds. At the end of this maneuver, lander will be perfectly vertical, somewhere between 800 to 1300 meters above surface. This will be a hovering phase. Next, a camera and sensor-assisted controlled descent to 150 meters above the lunar surface will be carried out. Hazard detection cameras will inspect the landing zone and will run a go-no-go -no -go test. If all the landing parameters are optimal, the lander will descend to 10 meters above the surface in the next 73 seconds with a vertical speed of less than 2 meters per second. Lander will descend the last 10 meters in 9 seconds. But, what if the hazard detection camera says no go? Lander will relocate, horizontally, 150 meters and check again. If the conditions are met, it will land there. They will get only one chance to relocate. Let's hope it does not come to that. However, the major issue is, all these steps will be automated via artificial intelligence. ISRO's ground control will have no say in these actions. That is why it's named 17 Minutes of Terror. We hope all goes as planned. If you want to know about ISRO's leap towards the sun, click on this video.